Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexis Blake. And I'm Liam Blake. And this is episode two of... The Blake Debate Special. Woo! And we have a special guest with us today. As you can see, the amazing book angel. Woo! Round of applause. Do you know what? So <laughs> many people have commented constantly, you need to do a collab with book angel. You need to do another collab with book angel. So thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you guys are so, so, I just really love you guys so much. I feel very connected to you. Like we've been, I feel like we've been friends forever. It's literally, kind of weird, literally. That's what you said. Well, I am happy you're coming on, but I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm, I'm angry and I'm sad about why we're doing this. Mm. But like I, I messaged you the other day and I feel like we have to get you on and talk about it because it's not, yeah. it's not okay. In my opinion, I'm, I was very angry, wasn't I, when I saw the video? Yeah. Well, I only just recently managed to get to watch it today and I was like, anyway, for just for context for our listeners, we are talking about Josh Sater coming out. Big bombshell. Not on Alex Stein. That he's not trans and it's all an experiment. I know. It's <laughs> infuriating. So how was your initial uh, feelings when you first saw it? Because I watched you go live and do it. Yeah, well, it kind of was a shock because I was listening to I go on my dog walks every morning. I listen to podcasts, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So all of a sudden, I was listening to the whole thing because we all knew he was a fake. And, yeah. And anyway, I, we all called him out a long time ago. And and so I was like, whatever. So I just wanted to hear what he would how. You know how he was coming about his kind of outing that he was fake, right? And I was—I actually agree with him. He really, yeah, yeah. what he did was on some level, I think, very important because, as you and I all, we all agree on how disgusting this community has become. But all the talking points he made, like you know, they made it that anyone could be trans, and he was making a point, and blah blah blah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, and Boom. next up is Buck Angel. <laughs> What? <laughs> I when I was watching it, I, I was like, "Where's this going?" That was so random. You were literally out of blue. like, "Like, huh, huh?" Yeah. What confused me the most is personally, I think it was quite a bit of a vanity project for Josh. I think it lent more towards the vanity project side than a social experiment. You could see that in his face, the arrogance, the narcissism. He was in love with himself more than proving a point to the left. That's what I kind of think. But what yes. what shocked me the most is that they were coming for you hard, vile, saying awful things, but you agree with so much of the things that they were saying before that. So I don't understand mm. why. Like, I don't understand them coming for someone like me when I disagree with a lot of it, but you agreed sure. with it. So that why sure. do you think they came for you so hard? Well, I mean, there's a couple of reasons why. First off, because I'm always the butt of the joke. I've always been, you know, because I worked in the adult entertainment business and that 20 years ago, right? That's always just going to be a thing for me. And I, I'm cool with that. You know, it, like making fun of myself has always been sort of my shtick. But that, that being said, I think Josh Cedar doesn't know who I am. Yeah. And so his focus has always been you. He's always been trans women, right? Yeah. He's never been trans men. So I stumped him. I actually stumped him, which means that what he was really doing, he doesn't understand the whole picture. No. He only was focused on calling out trans women, right? And so what he what happened is he became a hypocrite because he everything didn't. he set up to that, right, was like trans people. He did. He if you listen, he said trans people are real, they do exist. And then gender dysphoria is a real mental illness. And then all of a sudden I come along and it's all off the table now. Fake. And he called, it called really us know. fake. <laughs> yeah, call, he, called, he called him fake. And I, yeah, he called you like, When he said fake, oh my right. gosh, it boiled my that's blood. Right. Like, the thing is, Could like, there be anybody... More like, real. To me, to me, like, when I when I see book, I'm like, book wrote the book on this. Do you know what I mean? Book wrote the book. That, that, that's that's, <laughs> that's what I think. That's your next tagline. That like, is your next tagline. That, that's what I think. I think if anyone knows about this, it's book. I know. And to call book a faker, it's like... Where what? did it call... Eh? I do you know what? Because me, for me personally, I can look at everyone's point of view. I don't always agree with everyone or I disagree, but sure. I, I try and look at sure. things with like an open mind and try and understand where they're coming from. But with this, in this instance, there was no reason yeah, for it. It was just pure nastiness, mm -hmm. and that's what I, well, that's what bothered me the most because they weren't dissecting what you were saying. They were just being that's bitchy. Right. I said that man. It was a man fest. It was, it was a big a man, man fest. Just thinking that they rule the world when they don't. Yeah. But <laughs> the, the fact right. that and they brought up like they brought up your voice and stuff. It's like that were like playground bullying antics. It well, wasn't bizarre. Yeah. bizarre. I know you guys. I, I really appreciate how you have my back. It means a lot to me, and I, I got a lot of people having my back. Oh, even I bet they did. <laughs> 
I mean, so many people came out were like so after him because if you listen to Buck, he actually agrees with all your talking points. But I have to say this, the Alex Stein um, program reached out to me and I'm going on there live tomorrow I love because that. they actually apologized and they said to me, we misunderstood your video. Absolutely. And so, I think, you know yeah. what? I'm always the guy who will reach my hand across the table and say, look, we can just, you know, have a conversation. I'll like, look, let's make fun. Let's do all that. It's Okay. But here's the deal, my friends. This has always been about trans women, Alexis, and you yeah. and I both know that. And I have too many friends like you, and I care about you, and there are real transsexual women like you. And so we need – that's why I've always said we need to get ourselves away from those crazy trans activists and those fake trans people who are – that's why Josh did this. Yeah. Not because of you, Alexis. Yeah. You're an actual real person who deals with what I deal with. Me and you are actually the same. So – I have to tell you that I fight for you and I fight for the kids and I and I won't let people take me and you out along with those with them. crazy I, That's why I started people. my social media. Like I was getting fed up yeah. of like the first video I ever posted about all this stuff was to do with like chest yeah. feeding and womb carriers when all that. <sighs> and it was erasing women. It was coming right. from the outrageous, crazy trans mm. people. That's right. where my content came from because i was like wait a minute We're i don't have like those this. values yeah. i don't think i, like I want to say i want a, people to understand yeah we're not all like we that all it's think, so infuriating i think a lot of people think that trans people have a hive mind and they don't. We all like, think the same and we're all the same, but we're no. really not. Oh my God, we're not. And also, I know that you two deal with a lot of backlash with your relationship. And I have to say that that also upsets me because here's the deal. Whatever's between you guys and your personal space and however you did it, you love each other and you care about each other. And I see it through all of this. I see that. And I don't like how people say, well, you're just a gay man and you're gay and you're straight. And well, First off, why does that even matter, right? Does matters is are you too happy are you creating a great space for the world are you representing Giant. in a way that's a very positive no i think it's actually rude and disrespectful mm -hmm. because you're putting yourself out there okay you don't have to do any of this you know that you don't have to reveal your relationship you don't have to reveal what that is but i just don't I, i've you know that's also the fault of these trans activists and this queer stuff and all of this they've ruined stuff for me and you to have just basic living experiences together and, and, and not be seen as the same they, they, yeah they said the same about me well buck has a, a kid did he have a baby if you did your research on me you would know immediately i did not have a baby i don't believe in pregnant men like I don't, like i would never get pregnant that would actually i cannot imagine it. that ever <laughs> literally mm. i think there's more chance literally. of me getting pregnant <laughs> exactly it's the same thing love it so i think you and i together we are starting to rebuild this community along with like, you know, Blair and, and Marcus and a lot of us who've been in this YouTube space who've really put ourselves on the line mm. and put our families out there. And really, because I think people are starting to see, because I'm telling you, the they amount are. of people who came in defense of me was a phenomenal to me. Love and that. that's why I'm on that show, because they actually reached out to the show and said, you better bring You're wrong. on. God. Yeah. Well, God. I, in, in, um, in Alexis's new video, um, that covers the Josh Sater interview, going through the comments, because um, I, I, I get more spare time than Alexis. You, mm -hmm. She works yeah, more yeah. than I do. But right. I, I was going through a lot of the comments, and a lot of the comments were like, you got book wrong, you're so wrong, I can't believe this, I can't believe he said that about a book. Um, but yeah. one thing, like, even your followers say, there's, there's a census, it's a very, a, very, a very similar census, where they always put you guys in the same sentence. In the same uh, Alexis, book, Blair... Um, who else? Oh, who, sorry, I, I understand. Oh no, what you yeah, mean like that, when when they're talking about the people that, that well, that that is an honor to be put. Yeah, in of course, a category it, yeah, of absolutely, right, it is. Um, right. But it, it's like they always say the same group of people. It's love. It's you lovely. guys are showing us that yeah. trans people are just back down to earth. You know, normal people that just want to live our lives, and we're not all a hive mind or whatever. But I can't yeah. remember who else was in there. There was quite. A, there's, Do you know what I love though? One of the, my favorite insults I get is "pick me." I get that all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I also <laughs> get "you're time. a wannabe wish version of Blair White," and I'm like, "Oh, yeah. <laughs> savage!" Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> brutal, you, you, brutal. if you order Blair White off, off Wish, you get Alexis. You get Alexis, basically. <laughs> right. Very weak, and they, they are the hive mind, right? And they are the ones who are under this spell of we all have to be the same. And you all know I've been doing this for a long time. I've been out as a transsexual man for 20 plus years. I transitioned 32 years ago. I've done a lot of work for this c community on some, and all the work that you and I have done to get to this space is being completely torn down by these people. And so by Josh doing this, I, I really think there's going to be a reset. If Do you that think? Makes sense. And a hundred percent because of this reset, you and I are going to have to feel the brunt of it. That's and the thing though, going, like the, the damaging, yes. like the yes. fallout from what he's done. That's what I struggle with. Cause I, I understand right. if it was a different human mm. being, and it was a social yes. experiment that wasn't taken as far. If he didn't push it as far, if he made it yes. more realistic and the person didn't come on a talk show narcissistic and arrogant and said, I did this to express yeah. my feelings, I would yes. understand more. But because it was someone who I don't see, mm. he did it for the right intentions. That's why I have such a problem with it. It was a vanity project. It, it, it was just arrogant. Like, was. You, can, you can see it. It <clears throat> oozes from him. The smile the, the, oozes from him. He's smiling like he's time. just cured cancer and he hasn't. You know he what just I mean? put lipstick on for four months and, and put some Instagram videos right, out. The big reveal, right. it's like, we knew. <laughs> like, we knew. We <laughs> spoke about it. We knew. <laughs> Thank you. You know. It's like, yeah, it's but, like... You know, it's like when you're, it's like when your super camp child comes out as gay. They're like, yeah. "Mommy, I'm gay." It's like, I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know. We've always known. Yeah, my parents did that with me when I came out as a gay woman. They're like, "Duh, we already knew that." It was like, but you know, I get what you're saying, and I believe, and I also, I don't particularly think he is a great human, and I don't think he did it for all intensive purposes to actually reset the community. No. I think he did it because he's a narcissist. He's a grifter. He's going to go on to do another grift. If you look at his background. What's left? <laughs> what, yeah. What but you know what? The thing is, this is how disgusting the world has become. Somebody will give him another platform mm -hmm. and somebody will give him something to do because that's his whole platform is a grift. Yeah. From The Bachelor to whatever this was, there'll be another thing that he'll do. Right the thing now. is, and people they, gain followers just because people want to see where this, where this goes where does it go i know you know That's people right. sometimes follow people to see their downfall oh yeah absolutely. The, you know people definitely do. it's yes. like going back to the whole you know you know when you have like a, a fight in the comments and then people post that meme of michael jackson eating popcorn yeah they're just here for the drama <laughs> and they admit it and that's why i think a lot of people follow some people is just like mm -hmm. i don't agree with them i don't like right, them well like Lilitino but, for a perfect just, example let's just see where this views. goes yeah i think most yeah. people who watch Lilitino don't agree with them they all the comments are vile Twenty five thousand mm. likes and the vilest things you've ever read yeah. but people are Disgusting. what following and watching mm. because it's entertaining I, i've never seen a positive comment on no on, I mean, on her. no so um, on the interview, they brought up your adult past, your adult industry, yeah. you know, the work you've done in the industry. Sure. Why do you think that was? And why do you think mm -hmm. people always try to demonize it? Mm -hmm. Because in my opinion, as an adult, we all it's enjoy like, that side of things. You know what I mean? Well, we, yeah. we, we all exist because of it's it. It's like shame. Not the adult industry, it. but you know, having sex, yeah. Yeah. enjoying sex. Yeah. So why, why That's do you right. think, why do you think that? Why do you think they tried to demonize well, that side I mean, of it there's many reasons but like i said earlier you know I, I deal i've dealt with it from day one okay when i started to do it to, to today when i haven't done it for literally 20 years Crazy. but i already the thing is is because it's you know that word mm -hmm. the p word and i don't know if we need to say it or not because youtube is really weird with, with the word mm -hmm. but i'll say corn so it the corn industry has always dealt with backlash. The problem is now that we have the internet, I was doing it when there was VHS. And I, I love was doing that. it on DVD. You, That's you had to rewind it before you took it back. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think people just use it because I think they're discounting me as somebody who is actually contributing to society. And because of my background, it's a way that they can discount me as a transsexual. They can discount my success as a transsexual. They can discount my success as a human being by saying, oh, Buck is just a star. Oh, I'm sorry, you'll have to deal with that. Corn star. <laughs> I okay. don't know. I, YouTube's, YouTube's regulations are it all is over weird, the place. Yeah. So, it's I think just, it's the way also, it's I think illegal. they I think they did it immediately because because you were calling Josh out mm. for his actions and saying you were disagreeing because it's putting there the community in turmoil. They were like, We need to tear this person down, we're gonna take a cheap yeah. shot, and that's what they did. That's and right. I think that's the that's main right. reason why they did it. This is the deal. It's called adult entertainment. 
I never have pushed it upon mm. anyone. I will never push it. I am anti young people watching it. I do not think of it as sexual education. Number three, it did wonders for trans men like me because I celebrated my unique body in a way that said, you don't have to get that surgery there. Mm -hmm. You can actually enjoy yourself. And many, many trans men chose not to get that bottom surgery because I showed that you can actually have a functioning sexual life without it. So if anything came from that particular thing that I did in my lifetime, I will say that's the most happy and, and focused thing I feel that came from it was I helped people learn how to deal with the things that you cannot change. God. And that's always been my message. Change the things you can, but so, sort of just embrace mm, the things embrace. you can yeah. change. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank see, you. See, for me, I always find, like you said, I always find it really odd that people always try and dig up someone's past. And if there's like an adult industry I mean, spin anything, on it. Anything, anything, they it, use it, it. It's it's used against you. But I don't understand. Like if someone, if someone for example, if someone did uh, um, adult work, adult corn, um, when they were like 19, 20, 21, but then they went on to become uh, a doctor and a surgeon or That's a right. solicitor or they any, lose all, their job these things, found out. all these Wild. things. And it's like yep. they're saving lives or they're, they're stopping innocent people going to jail or convicting felons and stuff. It's like yep. people would, if they got famous, for whatever, people would still dig into the past and still try yeah. to, 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 to kind of discredit what they're doing because they did that. But hear, 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 hear me out. These people that try to discredit people from doing adult work, right? Mm -hmm. You yeah. tell me their internet history is squeaky clean. <laughs> are you telling me, are you telling me they've never rented a corn movie from their I satellite provider. I can't deal with this card. I, that's I right. just, I just, I can't understand. That's like, right. do you know what I mean? Well, like, no, do, you're right. Course. You are right. Do they have? Do they when they're walking around their house naked? Do they have? Do they put sheets on their mirrors <laughs> so they don't happen to catch themselves <laughs> by accident looking at them? I don't. These, no, no, I, you. I, I think I, it's a valid point. I, I don't I, understand. I think if they're going to pay into the industry and right. they can't be cruel and nasty, mm. but I think it was just a cheap shot. I think that's what it comes mm. down to. Well, that's all. It it's Alex Stein. So yeah. you always have to look. And I was on Howard Stern like in 2007. And believe me, it, it blew up the internet because I've always been that guy wanting to push boundaries. Mm. So when they bring up my work in the adult entertainment business, I bring it on, my friend. But let's talk about it in an adult manner and mm. not as children. You're acting like children. And we both know you dudes sitting there across from each other totally go home and off the things on the internet. <laughs> well, I'll just answer that. Are. I can censor that out, it's fine, but yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah, but they do, and, and, yeah. and they should normalise it. They should normalise it. That's like, right. We all That's enjoy right. those kind of things, but we are adults enjoying adult entertainment. When That's I right. when I went to, when we went to see Deadpool at the cinema. Yeah, sorry, yeah? I wondered where you were yeah. going with that. No, no, I'm just saying, we went to see Deadpool. <laughs> you really enjoy Deadpool. Yes, it's, I did. It's an 18, it's for adults only. Right. Kids shouldn't be watching it, and if kids are watching yeah. it, that's on the parents. The parents. The parents. But on that's the flip right. side, I've watched um, movies that were not meant for me as, as, as a young kid, Terminator, things like that. Oh, right, okay. Uh -huh. No, not, not like that, right. Terminator, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, down to the, I, it's down to the parents, they shouldn't be seeing it. I agree. You yeah. know what I mean? Agreed. But then again, I don't think age always necessarily means a person's mature either. That's another video, yeah. but, it, but just because you're 25 doesn't mean you're mature. Adult entertainment people, get that in your brain. You don't yeah. have to like it. You don't have to. I, there's certain kind of Clues coffee in the title. I like. I'm not, that's right. I'm not going to drink the coffee I don't like, even though it's coffee, mm. if that makes sense. Mm. It's like we, we should all as adults get to have choices. That's why I also believe we should talk about cross-dressers that are not trans women. Mm -hmm. They are cross-dressers. But what's happening is that they're getting lumped in with us and they are bringing their fetish, which is not a bad thing. No, absolutely not. We've all got and awesome that's right but now they're getting lumped in with you and i which is actually deteriorating what you and i have done to live in a, in a space with our gender dysphoria they don't have gender dysphoria they have a fetish yeah and so when we start to mix the fetish in with something that's a medical condition what happens is you and i get lumped in it and now my pornography gets lumped into this whole thing and it's all my fault that all the kids believe me people say that they say it's my fault that young kids are transitioning because of my adult entertainment i'm like what is wow. happening right where now? where do people get yeah. this from they say that they how would how would that. the kids know about your adult well past. they shouldn't know right. exactly they shouldn't know shouldn't that's they? right 
You so, said right. I, I, I'm <laughs> going to sweep slides, like, just gently breathe No, it's all right. You, Alexis is the director today. I, I, I'm getting nervous because sometimes when talking about things like this, when he's like, I'm so, oh my gosh, what's he going to say? So, I do have a question. It's kind of a vague question. Just, I just want to see what you think, really. Do you think yeah. Josh is anti-extreme left or is he anti-trans in general? Which one would you put him I under? Think- I, 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 extreme left. 100%. You think? I think a lot of his stuff has to do with calling out the left, which here in America, I kind of don't blame him. You know, I'm, I always say it to people, I'm I'm very much a progressive, I'm a liberal. Yeah. And I have liberal values and I have liberal ways of being, but I'm not far left, if yeah. that makes sense. And I would say I probably have a little mm. more conservative as you get older, right? And I'm a dad and I'm a family guy. I think you just sort of have a little bit more conservative things. But that being said, I am a complete Democrat liberal in this country, which is shocking. So I think he is also, he's he, he's a guy who goes where the money is. Yeah, yeah, Because mm. so he kept calling he you a his... faker, though. And you're, you are a genuine transsexual, but he was calling you a faker. That's and right. that's what confused me, because if he I was... Know. Because I was like thinking at first, oh my gosh, he's like, is 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 acknowledging gender dysphoria in the medical condition aspect? Mm. And I was like, maybe I've yes. got this guy wrong. But then when they were watching you, they were just saying, yes. f- uh, what did they like talking about you like your voice and then you faking being yeah. a man and things? And I'm like, well, yeah. which, well, which as, side as soon is as, it? As soon as Buck opened his mouth, that's when they went on the attack about the voice, and it's yes, like my voice. But I just, yes, I just voice. don't understand like why, why they were attacking you in that way. I'll tell you why. I know why. I know exactly why. So why? I, I deal with these men all the time. Most men are super chill with me. They don't have no issue. Mm-hmm. Even when they find out that I'm a trans dude, they're like, whoa, dude, that's so cool. Right <laughs> on. Like, they're super cool about it, right? But there's men like him. And men like him are very, very threatened by me. Very why? threatened by me. Because something to do with their own masculinity. Also, you want to talk about voices? Let's talk about Josh's voice. I, well, I must <laughs> wow. admit, I must admit, now you said that, I was, when I was watching the interview, um, Alex asked him something and he said something back and I thought, that was super camp. That was the, well, he's, uh-huh. yeah. And that was his natural voice. Right. So if we're going to go, if we're going to talk about voices. Well, right. I genuinely think some people who hate trans women, who hate trans men, yeah. it's because they have a fetish for them and they like it and they're attracted to it. But maybe Josh is actually deep down secretly attracted well, didn't, to trans didn't, women. Didn't Josh date somebody okay. from drag race well, or something or... I don't Some... believe anything that guy says and you know when I was dinging up doing my video my reaction on him I found where he married a man and I, it seemed very real to me so you know and the thing is this like you know whatever dude we don't care if you're gay straight bi mm. whatever you are but but you're so like, the guy is so all over the place his whole life is fake mm. everything he puts out you can't we can't believe anything yeah. that guy says but that being said i think he's got some stuff going on deep down inside of him Personal. that he has yeah. working out and he's putting it all on us and it's all our problem right and we're the bad so that's why everything he was saying up to me And that's where we've got to use my situation as very powerful because it threw him off and it threw him for a loop. And then he still kept calling me he. So he never called me she. Mm. He said, I'm I'm, I'm wearing a costume. But then he referred to me as he. So I have to say, I was, what happened is I I made his brain go crazy. (laughs) I love it though. I love it. Deal with it. I don't know how anyone could look at you and not say he though. No, absolutely not. um, Thank you. But yeah, I, I must admit, we've. Looking back on on where Josh has come from, where he's going, what he's been up to. Where is he going? There is no consistency with it. But the only consistency I can see is, like you said, I think he's following the money, which is fine. Just admit that's what you're doing. And I'd have so much more respect. I'd have so much more respect for for someone that said, you know what, I'm here for the money. I'm following the money. Fine. You do you, boo. I think it's the fact that he sat there and he was like, I've done this social experiment and I'm amazing. (laughs) And I'm just like, well, if if it had worked, it would have been very interesting. But we've all known for months, hon, so you've just wasted your time. (laughs) I watched it. I watched it, right? And and he used so many big words to say very little. (laughs) I came away and I was like, what? What? Like I had to I Google agree. the words, and then I'm like, "You've not actually, ex- you've not actually covered that. That's the Just definition say, you've given. Yeah. isn't actually what's mm. happened. I, th- I right. think it sounded it's, like yeah. a, a spell from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I was like, okay. Do you know what? I feel like we are like being brutal on him. End of the day, it's just an opinion. We're it's not just... being nasty. We're just calling out something oh, we no, no, saw. Oh, no, no, no. Don't even think that. We are not being nasty, number one. Number two, he opened the door for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. when he, Absolutely. Look, if he would have, if he would have did the same, not even, if, let's, let's just put you in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of me, let's put you there, Alexis. We, we all would have felt the same way. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, is that he did, he's not distinguishing between us and them. And yet there he was saying that you and I exist. That's why I'm telling you, we have mm -hmm. to tear him apart because he literally up to that point was like, gender dysphoria exists. Mm -hmm. There are real trans people. It's a medical illness, blah, blah, blah. All the things you and I all know. And then it got to me and then everything was off the and table. He threw, he threw so, it all back um, out. Yeah, like, that's right. So he needs to have some pushback from us as transsexual people, because if we don't, all of the social experiment, which is a bunch of crap, it wasn't about social experiment <laughs> at all. I bet you he made a lot of money on OnlyFans. Ching, ching, ching. He had OnlyFans. That's right. Yeah. He has an OnlyFans account. So yeah. he's making a ton. So I, I'm going to say that I think if you're watching this, my friend, Josh, or you see this, why don't you donate some of that money to some organizations like the Detransitioner Organization or organizations that deal with women's sports or something that you think you did your social, social mm. experiment? Why don't you donate some of that lot of money you made to those organizations for your social experiment? And let's see if it really was a social experiment. Love it. Love I was it. literally just about to ask you, what would you say if he was listed? Have you got anything to say to him, but you've just yeah. answered that. That's it. Because I, I'm, I'm, like I said before, I agree what he did on some level was important mm. because me and you need to get back to living our lives. You know, we don't need to be talking about this 24-7. Yeah, mm. I it kind of it, it, it sucks that you and I have to do this when you and I make a huge effort to fit back into the world and be a part of the world and, and contribute. That's what I want people to see. And they do. They see that from me and you, Alexis, that we contribute to the world. We're not asking anybody for handouts. We're literally work working. Oh, my them. gosh. That's, working to jobs. Both working yeah, two jobs. Josh, yeah. If he really wants to make a difference, then he needs to step up right now and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to give X. Those detransitioner people are mm. just struggling and nobody wants to help them. Mm. And so if he really wants to help the situation, he needs to actually do it with Put his hand in his pocket. Yeah. yeah. Put, your money, put your money where your mouth is. Well, I'm very excited yeah. to watch you on the Alex Stein show. I'm sure you will be I've got, amazing I've got as got usual. Oh, you've got one more yeah, question. I've got, Sorry. I've got one more Go thing on, I want to cover. So you call Josh out for damage in the trans community um but then they both came for you when you started speaking about people within our own community i.e the ones that just kind of say the self-id yeah. yeah yeah the self-id yeah. um but as soon as you started calling people out who self-id they then came for you saying that you're going against your own community anyway so you can't win you, you can't win cannot you cannot win, win. You, you're damned if you do and you're damned if that's you don't right. But why, why, that, that's what completely makes me believe, sorry to jump in, but that's what makes me believe they, they just had nothing better to say. So they were just coming after you for whatever they could because you were agreeing with them. And then they were yes. like, well, now you're going after your own people. But bizarre. Well, you can't, you know, here's the deal also. And something I've learned for many years of doing this and many years getting punched in the face from all sides of the space. You can't, you can't please everyone. No. You know that. And so, I, so I walk that, I walk in the very middle ground space and I know that I'm not going to, but I also have to look at what kind of show that is. And it's a show where they're not really there to talk about political stuff and they're there to make fun of people. And that's what Alex Stein's show is about. And so once you understand what you're up against, then you're just understanding that they're just using you again. They used me in a, in a way. They put me next to Dylan Mulvaney. I'm like, wait a minute. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, and then it became Dylan Mulvaney. I'm like, oh, actually, Dylan Mulvaney is a grifter. Mm -hmm. You and I both know that. Mm -hmm. And Dylan Mulvaney is going to pay for everything that Dylan Mulvaney has done to this community. The millions. Okay, talk about somebody who made money. Millions of dollars off of his grift. I do not believe that he is a trans woman. I believe that he is grifting for the whole sense of creating a whole space for him to make a lot of money and we're i'm calling him out here which i always have and i really think he has done huge amounts of damage to this community more than josh has done i'll be honest yeah with you. no i Dylan agree Mulvaney i absolutely agree I, I absolutely destroyed agree destroyed us days of girlhood yes. when that came out that was my final straw i can i can try and see from both sides for a lot and i really come with like yes. well maybe they just don't realize what they're doing or maybe they're just not thinking but then when that song came out i was just i'm done i'm like you, i'm done you, now you forget this. that yes, it's not you. it's not just 
it's not just one person sits there and goes, I'm gonna film a music video, these are the lyrics. It's it's a team. A it's people. a full, yeah, that, a right. full team that. of people. And I think everyone knew yeah. what they were doing. They were they were gonna make money and it went viral for the wrong reasons, which oh still made it make money. Oh my god. It, it, it not only that, Dylan Mulvaney attracts a, lo a large young generation of people. Mm -hmm. The responsibility that we need, you know, they love to say that they want to hold people accountable in this trans community. If we don't hold Dylan Mulvaney, I'm telling you, it's a lot of his fault that a lot of young people have now thought they were trans and non-binary and got surgery and hormones. And when that person decides they're no longer trans, who's going to clean up the mess of all these young people who followed him like the Pied Piper? And mm -hmm. that's why I get so mad at these. And that, no wonder Josh did it. You know, I don't yeah. like Josh. I don't think Josh is a good person. Mm -hmm. I think that he's a grifter. But I don't, what I will say again is that I don't blame him for no, doing it. No, you get you yeah. get why he did it. And you said yeah, that. I, you I, get that's why, why he did I, it. I get where yeah. he came from. If it was a different yes. person who did it better, who was more believable and realistic, I think we would have had a much better outcome. That's mm. my main point. Because the, the point he was Agreed, making, yeah. it does make sense. I do get that. Yeah. I do yeah. understand, yes. but it's yes. just it's just the arrogance behind the it. Arrogance the arrogance and the arrogance. I just switched and off. And no one believed it, so it was pointless. Yeah. So, yeah. But, I but, think but, the, big the problem, but the thing is, nobody believed it, but at the same time, nobody could question it because that's, there was the stupid the thing, ass yeah. groups like GLAD and HRC all supporting Josh. And where are they now? Crickets. No Hi. Hiding, hiding away. Hiding. Crickets. Right. So, I get it now. Yeah, crickets. I, I get it. it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I, I said it in a video the other day. I was right. like, crickets. And then he, he, he was like, why are you I talking was like, about why, bugs? Why have you just brought crickets? I'm like, so, baby, play the, play the noise, crickets. And he was like, what? And and so I edited the crickets noise and I was like, I get it now. <laughs> no, no, I want to thank you so much for coming onto my channel. I hope people, oh, I I'm sure people will love having thank you on. It's been an honestly. honor. It has, it has been an honor. It's been a stress setting all this up. Uh, this, this is this is uh, your fault, but we we've only done it twice now, haven't we? We've only, we have. well, we've you, only you, had you, you set it up. We've only had two interviews, um, like with people, so I had to set all this yeah, up. Yeah. But it's a learning curve. I think I know That's what right. I do next time but better. Th but thank you so thank much you, for coming honestly. on. And no, thank you guys. I do appreciate. It. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to get over there and hang out with you guys, and then we'll do something. Yes. <laughs> together. The second you we'll come to the UK, let me we know. We will be oh, there. Going for dinner. Well, I, I just want to let you guys know you're doing great work. Oh, I appreciate yeah. you so much because together we are going to make a huge difference, and we're going to save the kids and the women and the real transsexual who actually need. You know, Alexis, you are a role model for these young kids, and they need to see what you're saying. Big, I'm not big. kidding. <laughs> really are and you know it's not so much about about the f to m's it's about the m to f's right now yeah we really need to get back and get these fake people who are just destroying everything you have a beautiful life i can see it and your relationship is so lovely and beautiful and i just love people seeing you guys together because whatever people say to you i'm going to leave my little trampa thing and we <laughs> whatever people say Whatever, to anybody who's listening to this, whatever people say to you, who cares? Mm. Are you giving to the world in a good way? And can you I look at so. yourself in the mirror every day? And I, I know so. you two can do that. I, 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 mean, right. I, I mean, I think you are. Thank you. I, I mean, right. I think you both you are. are. But I, Thank you. Obviously, it sounds biased, but the thing is, what I, what I like about Alexis is... Everything. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously everything. Yeah, apart from everything. the nagging. But, um, <laughs> well, shut but up. it... it it's the it's the normalization of things and I don't like the word normal but what I mean is you know Alexis will put a video up uh, calling somebody out in the trans space but then the next video is like guys come with me to get my nails done and then it'll be look what Liam did or I'm getting sick of Liam and it, a lot of the videos are just normal every day this is what's going on it's to make in our it more life. familiar because a lot of people yeah. haven't ever met a trans person no. so I, I like yeah. to think that if I'm like well I go food shopping or I have my nails done or sometimes I have bad hair days like just to like make right. it like we're all the same we're yeah, all just I human think it's beings important at the end of the day to, to show just a, a normal everyday you know agree you're not normal though. Uh, well <laughs> I, I am so happy that I'm not right. normal <laughs> I'm not normal at all <laughs> thanks everybody for watching really really appreciate your support Alexis channel really like subscribe comment do all those things pass this around to somebody who needs to see it honestly and um, I, I just want to say this you Make the world what you want the world to be. Never forget that. Love it. Thank Love you it. so much for coming on, and we will see you guys in Thank the next you video. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Love you guys. Have an awesome rest of your night, and I'll talk to you later. And I'm coming to the UK, so we're hanging Woo! out. Amazing. Let us know when you're here, <laughs> okay? You Bye. 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 Bye.